So yeah, so good morning to everyone. Welcome to our uh, first lecture uh, in, in the course Print Production. Okay, so for this uh, lecture, our objective for discussion is, of course, you know, the introduction to uh, print production. Okay, so, but before we proceed you now with our discussion for today, um, let's play a game first. Okay, well, actually, uh, you know what? When I realized uh, that, that my students in the subjects, in the subject are, are EDUC students, no, sabi ko, wait lang. As an EDUC graduate, sabi ko, there's a need for me no, uh, to follow the proper methods of teaching no, because audience, uh, my audience are future teachers. Okay, um, Alvin, can I request to please um, mute your mic? It's naririnig ko. And pakimute po, pakimute lang po yung ating microphone kasi mas naririnig pa yung, yung background noise kisa sa boses ko. Yun nga, so uh, like what I'm saying, no? Uh, comparing sa other classes na ginagawa ko, that's the normal lecture. But when I realized that my student no, in this subject or in this course are an edoc student, so habi ko, wait lang, there's a need for me to follow the proper methods of teaching. Okay? Uh, as, as a future, you know, kayo, as a future teacher, you should know or you should practice yourself. No, ngayon pa lang, uh, with the proper method of teaching. Okay, uh, as an educator, I need to follow that. So before we proceed, now with our lecture for today, so let's play a game first. Okay, so allow me to to share my screen. Okay, so while I'm looking for the file, no, yung game na, uh, na that we will play, we. I'm calling it a zoom in logo quiz. Okay, so from the name itself, no, I prepare some logo. Okay, but the twist is they are zoom in. Okay, so all you have to do is to guess what is that logo, and in each logo, no, there are three clues. Okay, so the rule is no one is allowed to open your microphone. Kunwari alam nyo na yung sagot, uh, alam nyo na yung ano yung logo na yon. No one is allowed to open your microphone. All you have to do is to just type in kung ano yung sagot doon sa ating chat box. Okay? So kung sino yung unang makahula, then um, he is the winner. Then the winner will receive something from me. Okay? At the end of the day. Okay? So, yan. Yan. So, nakikita niyo yung aking PowerPoint presentation. Can you see my PowerPoint presentation? This time, you can unmute your mic so that I know the answer. Yes, please, sir. Kita po. Thank you. Yan. Okay, so let's play the zoom in logo quiz. Okay, so I have here four logo no na prepare ko. Can you please choose one? Kung ano yung una nating bubuksan, kung ano yung una nating hulaan. You can you can now maximize the chat box. So nakikita ko na yung chat box ngayon. Medyo magulo lang tong zoom pero <laughs> we can manage. Okay, so ako na lang magde-decide siguro wala sa mga sagot niya. So let's start with the first one. Okay, kasi we can random actually we can randomly select that. And so yeah, Sir uh, Sir Luel Posada, sige po noted. Let's choose the first one. Okay? So that is the first clue. Anyone na uh, makakahula kung ano yung logo na yan na zoom in natin. Okay. So again, let's check the clue number two. Yan. So, may nakahula na po si uh, Adrian Nicolai. And actually, hindi pala. Ang nakahula pala ay si uh, Mat Machika Justin Alexis. Ay, wait lang. Sino ba yung unang 
kung sino yung unang lumabas dito sa aking chat box na nakabula ng tama. I guess siya. So, sorry. The correct answer is from Reros Balasa. So, the answer is the Philippine Star. The truth shall prevail. Uh, secretary, sino ba secretary ko? Sir Luel? Pwedeng pakitake note natin kung sino yung ating winner. Okay, so the first, uh, for this uh, for this uh, logo, we have Ray Rose Balasa. So let's go with our next. So kanina may nagsabi five. So, okay, let's open number five. Yan. That's the first clue. Okay, wala pa nakahula. This is the second clue. Medyo, we are looking for the the complete answer. Okay, this is the third clue. Yan, so meron nang nakahula. The answer is the Manila time. So we have Yeah, so this time tama ka na ikaw na yung tumama, Justin Alexis. Yeah, the Manila times. Okay. So next oh, Sorry. Okay, so let's open number 2. Sorry, first clue. Wala pa rin. Sige, let's check the second clue. wala pa rin tumatama so far. Next clue. Okay, so the correct answer is ah sorry. Correct answer is Philippine Daily Inquirer. So we are looking for the correct and complete answer. Philippine Daily Inquirer. So the uh, winner is Philippine Daily Inquirer is Kedis Gatbonton. Philippine Daily Inquirer. Okay. Next. Uh, ano pa ba hindi natin nabubuksan? Number three. Sige, number three. Let's open number three. That's our first clue. This is the second clue. Pag nailabas ko na yung sagot na wala pa rin nakakahula. Oh, sorry, wala tayong winner doon ah. Okay. This is the last clue. And this is the answer. Wala na bang maghuhula kung ano ba yung tamang sagot. Yung kompletong sagot. The answer is Abante tonight. So tama si Christopher Chua. Yan. Okay, so let's go to the last one. This is the first clue.
this is the second clue. Okay, meron na. I guess meron ng nakahula. Pero tingnan natin kung kompleto ba yung sagot. So we are looking for the complete answer. The answer is Manila Bulletin. So the first one to answer is Arvin Laraya. So, congratulations to the five winners. So, later on, you'll receive something from me no, na magagamit nyo sa inyong online class. Okay, so let's proceed now with our discussion. Okay, so now based on the pictures class or based on the logo now that we use in the game, now what have you noticed? Okay, thank you for answering. Uh, sa chat box natin but if in case that I'm asking questions now you can you can also unmute your microphone ah uh, yeah that's right so if, if you notice no on the, the logo no that we use in our game it's all about the, the newspapers okay so those are the logo of some of the newspaper brands in the Philippines okay and the reason why I use that logo of the newspaper brands and companies because in our discussion for today, you know, it's one of the examples, okay? So, uh, to start you know, our discussion for today, you know, it's all about introduction to print production. Okay, so now I will share the screen. So let me open it again. <clears throat> Error ang aking Ayan. So I'm having a difficulty para EF5 siya So let's try this na lang Nakikita nyo naman no, ng maayos Yes sir, kita po Okay. So aside from the aside from the PowerPoint presentation, nakikita niyo rin ba yung aking mga naka-display na video sa gilid that we're going to use later on? Hindi. Para click na lang tayo ng click. Maybe po, sir. Yung PowerPoint lang nakikita niyo. Apo. Okay. Yes po. Sige. Okay. So yeah, so to start our discussion no, for today, it's all about uh, the introduction to print production. Okay, so I'll start my discussion no, by defining... Opo. Thank you. So yeah, I'll start my discussion by defining print production. Okay, so basically, when we say print production, now we are talking about the process no, and the procedures that are involved in printing the different print media that we know. Okay, so based from our game, uh, an example of the print media is we have the newspapers and we have the magazines, okay, and the likes and a lot more, okay. In a more simple context, you no, know, um, when we say print production, it is the designing and building of the files that we print, you now we fold and we trim, and you know, normally. Uh, this print production, oh, it is very beneficial because it is not only used for entertainment, no, it is also being used by the different businesses for their um, business activities, no, especially for their marketing or for their promotion. Okay, so now let's define printing. Okay, what is print? Okay, well, obviously, no, every one of you knows uh, what printing is, no? Because uh, ginagawa natin yan, especially if we have uh, projects, no? If we have assignments, 
and uh, nasa face to face lang tayo ang, ang assignment natin is usually piniprint natin sa recto ng PUP no sa oval canteen ah, sa sa oven canteen pala oval canteen okay so when we say printing no uh, but for the sake of our discussion no when we say printing uh, it is the process of making multiple copies no of a document no by the use of, of course the characters or letters uh, with the use of an ink, of course. So, syempre, hindi tayo makakapag-print nang wala tayong ink or there's no ink. Of course, um, there's no printer. Okay? And, no, I think, yan, I think it will be better, no, for us to uh, to discuss first, no, on, on this introduction, kung papaano ba nagsimula itong print media na ito and uh, papaano nag-evolve itong tinatawag or itong pinag-aaralan natin ngayon na print production. Okay? So I think uh, we already learned from our history subjects or oral communication subjects no, that the earliest uh, civilizations only had oral communication. Okay? So nung, nung mga unang civilizations, syempre the only way for them to communicate is through oral communication kasi there's no gadget yet na wala pa silang mga ginagamit na katulad ng ginag ng tulad ng sa set sa generation natin ngayon no, we have a lot of ways for us to communicate now we have digital we have technological aside from the oral okay but from the earliest civilizations uh, they only have oral communication for them to communicate okay yung nga, not unlike sa generation natin ngayon kung saan we have the the virtual or the digital communication no like what we are doing now. Okay, going back with the earliest um, civilizations, no, since the only way for them to communicate is orally no, or through the word of mouth. Let's say if they have news to tell or kunwari meron silang balita or let's say meron silang chismis no, during that early times. No, uh, what they are doing is they go to their nearest neighbor to spread the news no, to others until everyone had heard the news okay then eventually people began to learn how to write you know, and to read and people began to write down their news in picture form then under early under early languages or crude or crude languages na pag sinabi natin crude raw no na kung saan uh, they are just using symbols you no know, to stood for words and letters Siguro na nalayuan sila na every time meron silang chismis, pupuntan pa nila yung pinakamalapit na kapitbahay para lang i-relay yung news. No? That's why they, they invented the use of the, the symbols no? uh, to, to represent what they wanted to say. Okay? Then eventually, no, the invention of papers and the printing press for, for print media came along no? until everyone are using it. And right now, because of the technological advancement that we have, now we are now um, slowly adapting you know, and shifting from the print media to the digital media. Okay, and we have a separate discussion no, regarding with the digital media and print media. Okay, so you now that's how the, the print media uh, started. Okay, so say, uh, simply stating, when we say print media, no, it is the printed version of telling the news. Okay, kung before the news are just spread through the word of mouth, now with the exist, uh, with the existence naman ngayon of the, the print media, it gives rise no to the use of the newspapers and magazines, tabloids, and other uh, printed materials now that we are reading. Okay, and dahil din dito sa existence ng mga printing press or printing production na ito, no, it makes it easier in a way na it is not handwritten. No, kasi imagine kung yung mga newspapers or magazines are handwritten. No, sobrang tindi nun, no, sobrang hirap nun. No, kunwari, every words is uh, representing symbol pa din, katulad ng mga early civilizations, no, sobrang hirap. Okay? So, um, which is, no, as, as a matter of fact, based on an article na nabasa ko about the history of news no uh, at first news was just chiseled in stone okay pag sinabi natin chiseled meaning nakaukit okay it was just written and posted in a public place no kung saan maraming nakakakita okay um, like the illustration of the of the 10 commandments no uh, 
um, yung mga illustration ng Ten Commandments, we can see it na nakuukit siya sa uh, sa bato, no? And then it it uh, it become written in scrolls, no? Na kung saan there will be someone no, to read the news in that scroll, no? Then until news was printed in newspapers and magazines. Okay, and throughout the years, uh, print media evolved no, to include entertainment, um, educational topics, and more. Okay, instead of only conveying news. Okay, so that's how the print media started. And until right now, now we can say that the print media is still evolving. Okay, because some of the newspapers and magazines right now, they are now going digital. They are now going online as an alternative. Okay, so... Actually, uh, the question here is, why do we need, no? Bak sir, bakit kailangan natin pag-aralan ng print production? Okay? Uh, why do we need to study print production? Okay? As business educator, no, uh, you are major in ICT. No? Why do you think uh, there's a need for you to know all about uh, this print production? Okay? Um, pwede ba ako makarinig ng, ng sagot from one of the the winners for our game today. Why do you think there's a need for us or for you no, as, an, as a business educator major in ICT uh, to study print production or bakit kailangan natin itong, itong subject na to? Can I hear someone from the Lucky Five for today? Pag hindi sumagot, walang price, walang premyo. <laughs> hindi makiklaim. Anyone? Naku, pag walang sumagot, walang makaklaim. Sure. Sige, Ryzen, Riano. I guess, sir, ano, mas mabuti ng pag-aralan namin yung print media kasi malam, mabuti na rin na malaman namin yung convert yung ano, yung transcendence ng history ng print media to the digital media na nag-aspire na since nasa quarantine tayo or naka-isolate tayo. Okay, thank you for your answer, Ryzen. Can I hear another answer? Wag na kayo mahiyang mag-ano, mag-unmute. Sir? Yes. Um, I think po, and although hindi nakikita yung importance ng print media nowadays uh, due to quarantine, mm -hmm. uh, andun pa rin po, pag sinabi po kasi print media, andun pa rin yung integrity ng mga news and details na ilalagay doon sa newspaper or sa print media na yun. So, in any case, uh, print media is still important na malaman or course, is important course na matik para ano, malaman na ma, magkaroon kami ng further idea para doon sa kung paano, kung paano siya, kung paano nag-work yung print media and uh, yung kung paano maging magamit yung benefits na ina-offer ng print media. Okay, thank you for that answer, Arvin. Thank you, Arvin and Ryzen, Ryzen for participating. Well, actually, lahat ng mga sinabi nila, that's all correct. No? But, um, you know what? No? Learning or having knowledge about this course, no? about this print production, this will be beneficial, especially for you, okay, so that right after you finish the program no, or right after you graduate, parang there will be a lot of, of job opportunities no, that you can choose from. Okay, it's either because uh, at the end of, the, of taking this program, no, uh, the career path is it's either you teach no, or you work in an office doing ICT-related steps or doing print or video production for a company or it's either you establish your own business. Okay, if you think you are good in print production or if you think uh, print production business is something that will be beneficial for a business, then we will establish it.
okay? Let's say if you are good in, in video production, now you can use your talent and earn from it, okay? Kung, kung naabutan nyo pa si, si na Clarence Yarte and Rigo Gonzalez, now they are... Uh, they are good with with the print and video production and right now they are using their talent and at the same time they are earning from it okay by the way both of them na mentioned ko they are uh, products of BBTE ICT major okay so they they are using the their their craft no in in video production and in print production in terms of the digital media no uh, they establish their own business using their talent okay and that's uh, yun yung maganda sa program natin eh. Kung nga parang we have a lot of opportunities, no? That's why um, uh, we should be thankful that we have this different kind of courses or specializations no? that the department is offering us. Okay? So, um, and I'm actually, yung mga binanggit po kanina, si, especially si Rick Gonzalez, since we have a subject in video production, I actually uh, planning to invite him or them no in our class one of these days not to give you an inspiration or to give you something about the print and video production okay now and there are a lot of, of job opportunities in print production now, especially there are still a lot of companies no or businesses that are printing and producing let's say newspapers no magazines the books or printed materials no for for every businesses and uh, there are also a lot of, of careers no if you have a, a knowledge or if you know how print production works no especially in in this new trend of the digital okay since uh, you are an ICT major no so mas marami kayong pwedeng gawin okay mas maraming scope na ang pwedeng yung magawa okay so before we we move forward no with, with our discussion okay it's with the same importance that we should know no, the brief history of printing. Okay, so I have a short video that will give us an idea how the the idea of printing started. Okay, so allow me to. Where is that? Hold on. Ako na delete pa ata. <laughs> Hold on. Yon. Yon. Find it. Yan, so nakikita niyo yung video. I mean, yung naka-display na video. Yes, of course. Okay. So let's watch this video. happening wait lang <laughs> ayaw mag play what's going on A Chinese named Bi Sheng 
invented movable type print around 1,000 years ago. The movable components are cubes made of baked clay. Characters were carved on each piece of clay, which look like the seals widely used in China. The movable components could be arranged freely to form different vocabularies and sentences. They were fixed on an iron plate with frames in certain sequence. Then ink was painted. And a piece of paper was laid down. A printed sheet was created this way. This technique improved the efficiency of printing and transformed traditional transcription into modern printing. Scripts and painting spread widely in the world with the help of Yin Shua. Okay, now so it's been clearly explained now from the video how the the first idea of printing started. Okay, um, it is said no that around the year um, 1932, no, uh, the Chinese adopted adopted yung tinatawag na wood blocks printing. Okay, na kung saan ando na kaukit yung yung kanilang language characters, no, or and they are they started printing the text nor image nor patterns no, that was used widely okay and about 100 years later no as introduced in the video um si bisheng bisheng in, uh, invented the the movable type of curving and individual characters no into small blocks of clay okay no, kung saan each small block was hardened by fire no, to become a porcelain piece no, that could be used again and again. No? Kung baga parang, ano siya, para ka lang naglalaro ng cubes, you will just arrange the words. No? Then lalagyan mo ng ink, lay down mo yung paper, then you can, you can print. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang nila is siya arrange nila no, yung wood blocks to arrange the places that they wanted to print. Okay? And using each page, no, hundred of or thousands of times, um, Bisheng uh, could mass produce no the the paper or the page quickly, okay. Um, when the printing was done, no the pieces of the blocks were removed from the plates, of course, to be used again no to make other pages, okay. But from that in uh, from that invention of printing, naman no ni Bish, uh, ni Bisheng from China, okay. What what comes next is the invention naman of uh, Johannes Gutenberg. Okay? Ito naman yung tinatawag na movable type printing. Okay? In which um, itong movable type of printing press naman na ito no, is the type of uh, sorry, hindi ko pala shinare ang aking powerpoint. <laughs> Yan. Hold on. Ayan. So it's the brief history of printing. Okay, so yung yung pinakita natin kanina that, that that's the wood block printing. Okay, so after the the idea of that uh, bashing no from China, nagkaroon naman ng invention si jo, Johannes Gutenberg. No, ito naman yung tinatawag na movable type of printing. Okay, in which itong movable type of printing, uh, press naman na ito no is the type of uh, is a type that much easier to change no making the mass production of news pages or newspaper um, possible okay so 
uh, this invention spread throughout Europe no, in printing and distribu uh, distribution of sheets of news no, become popular. Okay? So after that wood black and movable type printing, no, it gives rise naman to the movable type of printing press system introduced by uh, Johannes Gutenberg. Okay, around the year uh, between 1440 and uh, 1450. Okay, so I know mahirap imaginein kung ano yung yung press printing na yon, but to give us more details about the press printing invention of Johannes Gutenberg, let's watch this another video. father, depending on the font, was once about the size of your room. Turns out early printing success was due to the power of the press. Today, we can simply hit one or two keys on our laptops to print a copy of something we've written or created in a matter of seconds. But prior to the computer age, you would have needed a full-time staff to print out your term paper for history class. Printing was a very physical job back in the 19th century, and we sort of take it for granted now as to how those letters ended up getting on the page. The Henry Ford's curator of communication and information technology, Kristen Gallerno, walked me into the museum's Greenfield Village to take a peek at our printing past. I know the name Gutenberg, the Gutenberg Bible. Is he the guy who starts it all? Printing press, yeah. He is the inventor of what we have in front of us here, which is hot metal type and it's movable. That means that we can rearrange things and make words and make pages of books. And he was the person that really revolutionized that. And so what are we looking at here? OK, so this is a proofing press. Sometimes you would want to try out a little bit of type before you moved it over to the larger press. You had to actually lay these things out letter by letter, and you also had to do it backwards. So it was a very time consuming process. Mm, I, I forgot about the backwards part. So we've got a little bit of type laid out here backwards, and it's already inked up. So what we're going to do is put the piece of paper over top of this. And then if you want to push this forward, okay. that's a couple hundred pounds of pressure. <laughs> it's, it's heavy. I rolled the proofing press several times over the inked letters, then checked the results. Ah, it's true. <laughs> I stand by it. And let me show you the next step. It's over here. This is the Washington Press. It's over 160 years old. The main innovation is this toggle. And the toggle helps to offset the weight. So you can actually print with one hand, or even a small child could complete a print without much exertion. The Washington, I'm guessing, is George Washington. George Washington there. and Ben Franklin. And why Ben Franklin? Ben Franklin was a printer. He worked in print shops as a kid from the age of 12 until I think into his early 20s. And he was very interested in the written word, obviously, as was George Washington. So that's why we see their images up here. For efficiency's sake, two people were needed to operate the Washington Press. One inked the plate, while both lowered what is called the timpan onto the plate, which is then slid under the cast iron platen. And what is this called again? This is the toggle mechanism. What you're going to do is you're going to push it towards me, but don't let it go because it might snap back. Okay. So this push it toggle. towards me. Yep. And feel how light that is? It's so, so light. And so that's lowering the plate, and then you can just pull it back towards you. This is as easy as function P. And almost as fast as walking to the office printer, I had an 18th century printout. Benjamin Franklin, inventor, scientist, statesman, Printer, can you autograph this? Because Benjamin Franklin's not available. <laughs> um, I could. Okay. Okay. Now, so it's clear now with the video how the the printing press system of uh, Johannes Gat Gatenberg. No, became the, the uh, became the opportunity no for for other invest uh, inventors 
to make it more advanced no, or to make it more productive no, when it comes to producing uh, more uh, printed pages. Okay. Uh, can you still hear me? Ba? I don't know kasi na internet connection problem ang lumalabas sa akin. Yes, sir. Okay, Custom so medyo lagi po, sir. Okay. Medyo choppy ako. Medyo po, sir. Okay. So... Pati yung video kanina, sir, medyo lag din. Ah, medyo lag. Okay. Sige. Um, I'll upload it na lang siguro pag in-upload ko, hindi siya lag. Yung recorded natin ngayon. Okay. So, yeah. Um, it's clear now with the video how the printing press system of Johannes Gatenberg now become the opportunity for other uh, investors, uh, inventors rather, to make it more advanced no, or to make it more productive when it comes to trading more, uh, producing more printed pages. Okay, on the year uh, 1810, now a German inventor naman, uh, naming uh, Frederick Hennig, now made it on a cylinder, no, which is now a high speed na tinatawag, uh, tinatawag na steam powered printing press okay op operated by steam engines okay then on the year um, 1843 no the, the rotary printing press was invented by uh, Richard Ho okay uh, also using the idea of Frederick Koenig using the, st the the steam system okay so for us uh, to go back to that time no, and to give us an idea kung ano ba itong sinasabi ko ko na ito na, na steam powered printing press okay so let's watch uh, this video naman uh, hold on this is the closest we've ever been to a printing press we type something out on our computer and it shows up here on the printer but there's a whole history of the printing press that includes steam so we're going to take a bit of a serious look at that today here on steam culture Well, you may remember from history class in 1440, Johannes Gutenberg gave us the first printing press when he made his flat press based on basically like wine press technology where you, you know, crank down on this thing and it's in a bit of a corkscrew. And the first printed uh, item was the Bible. And this started a whole cultural uh, phenomenon as ideas that were passed by word of mouth sort of handwriting some documents could now be mass produced so the proliferation of knowledge and ideas really began with Gutenberg's printing press so we're going to make a leap from 1440 to the 1800s when the first steam powered press came into play now it was still based on that flat press technology where you were pressing down on a printing plate but uh, Friedrich Koenig in 1810 a German made it on a cylinder so the cylinder would roll over those printing plates but the cylinder was powered by a steam engine so we could now produce a couple thousand pages a day well in 1843 an American by the name of Richard Ho created the first steam powered rotary press so he upped the game a little bit, and what he did is he put the printing plate in the cylinder. So now the paper could be continuously fed as the cylinder continuously ran, and we went from printing a couple thousand pages a day to millions of pages a day. So there you have it. From Gutenberg's printing press to the invention of the steam engine to the steam-powered ordering press, we're now printing off millions of sheets a day and a real jump in industrial printing. Thanks for joining us this week on this episode. Find us on social media because we're everywhere and come back here next Friday. I'll have a new episode. Okay.
So yeah, from from that inventions no na napanood natin, uh, doon na nag-start yung yung print production. Okay? Doon na nag-start na nag na magkaroon ng newspapers which is ironically no the early mass produced newspapers cost no is medyo pricey siya. Okay? So the cost or or price ng of the newspaper kung kung bibili ka that time no is close to what most workers no are earning in a week no so yung mga mayayaman lang can only afford to buy them not until during the year 1990s no in which uh, or 1900s rather in which itong mga newspapers na ito become very popular since mas maraming tao na ang may kakayahang magbasa no and the papers uh, become more affordable Okay, uh, they now because they now included features no, that we are now recognized today, including the, the attention grabbing uh, headlines, no, the catchy headlines, the news, the society pages, no, sports, uh, comics, and the occasional use of spot color no, in, in special instances. Okay, so that's how the newspapers started in the industry of print production. Okay, so that's how the, the print production um, started. Okay, so basically in the subject, now we will appreciate this industry in print production. Okay, and later on, um, we will, uh, we will know that, that this production is something that will give us an opportunity in the near future. Okay, so that's, uh, so that's how the, the print production started. Now that's the brief history of the, the print production. Okay, so um, I guess magen yung ating time limit. So I guess that is that's it for now. That's it for now. Uh, on our next lecture, no, I will be discussing with you the different printing methods. Okay, now, and the reason why I allot uh, remaining time no, in our class uh, schedule because uh, we'll give you I will give you an activity and I will be uploading it in our MS Teams. Okay, so if in case um, meron tayo mga students that are not present today, I will be uploading this recorded lecture in, in my YouTube platform. Or if in case you are having a difficulty uh, earlier you know, with, with your internet connectivity, uh, you can go back you know, uh, with, with the lecture so that you can uh, answer and proceed our activity. Okay, so that's it for today class. Thank you and see you in our MS Teams. I will be uploading the activity. Uh, by the way, you have you have questions. You have Thank clarifications. You, you have questions, clarifications or something? None? Everything's clear? Ilan nga tayo lahat? Clear po. Uh, secretary, ilan nga total natin? 36? 